if you guys are into tech like me, you've probably had a situation where you've had to go and download and install all of your go-to applications at least a few times. Maybe you've spun up a new virtual machine and you want all those utilities and applications. Or maybe you get a call from your family member or friend, they got a new PC or they had to rebuild their PC and now they need to install all of the essentials, right? Or maybe they're asking you, hey, what do you recommend? I just got a new PC, what application should I put on there to get started? I'm gonna show you a tool today that's gonna to help you with that process and save you a ton of time. And you can package this up and send it to a friend and say, hey, you got a new PC? Here you go, this is what I recommend. Let's get started, guys. So the application or the website that you're gonna check out for this is called Ninite.com and what this company does is they create installer files through their Ninite application that package up all of these applications whichever ones you select right they have different categories and then you download a single installer file and that will run silently in the background you don't have to hit next or anything you just set it off and it installs all those applications in the background and when it's done, it's done. You'll have every one of the apps that you selected. You can also use this to keep all those apps up to date. So if it's been a year, you just go in here and download a new package and it'll do the same thing as just run through the install, but it'll recognize you already have the apps and it'll kick them up to date. So what I like to do if someone just got a new computer and they're asking me, hey, what do I need to put on here? Um, this is what I'm trying to do. I like to edit pictures or you know, maybe I'm getting into IT, what are some of the best apps I can get? You can kick someone off with like a, a starter set, so to speak, right? So maybe you'll say, hey, grab the Chrome browser and go ahead and get VLC because it's better than Windows Media Player, depending on what you're doing. Audacity, great app for audio editing. Uh, we'll just go through and pick a few, right, in each category. Maybe they want Zoom. Um, Nowadays for security, believe it or not, uh, Windows Defender is actually better than most other free malware applications um, or antivirus applications. Didn't used to be the case, but nowadays, I mean, as long as you're keeping Defender up to date, it is pretty much the best free one out there. Um, but I do always recommend putting malware bytes on top of that. Um, key pass, store all your passwords, everything. If you haven't seen this, it's a great search tool for Windows. Uh, Windows files. Again, we'll just go through and grab a few here. Putty, WinSCP. Depending on what they're doing, right? You're obviously going to pick different things here. Winderstack, great tool to see where all your disk space is being used. Another free one I don't see on here is called uh, Tree Size. Winderstack will get the job done though. Grab 7-Zip for them. Uh, depending on if they do any image editing I always recommend GreenShot this is a great utility it's actually a lot better a lot more features than the snipping tool that's built into Windows I have a video on it if you haven't seen it check it out um, it's probably enough to get us started here guys so let's go ahead and oh you know what I always throw in open office or LibreOffice whichever one you like obviously if you pay for Microsoft Office good for you but if not these are great free alternatives so now that we've selected all our apps, our little starter kit, we're going to click on Get Your Ninite. I'm not sure if they support this on Windows 11 yet. This is a Windows 11 VM. Let's, uh, let's find out. Okay, so we need to, the installer will begin shortly. If you didn't start, retry the download. Looks like we may have a pop-up here. Yeah, okay, so downloads. Let's check our downloads folder. And yeah, it did download, okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and run this as admin. And this should take us through the installation of all those files. Yeah, so as you'll see guys, it's downloading Chrome and it'll start installing Chrome. And we'll just let this run. So, I mean, if you, again, say your mom or somebody calls you, hey, I got a new computer, 
a lot of times what sucks about getting a new computer from like Best Buy or something, they always come with a lot of what I like to call bloatware. So all these different companies, you know, will pay the main manufacturers, Dell, HP, what have you, to install their bloatware software on there. So you'll check it out, right? Maybe it's a free trial. Maybe it's free. They want you to have in-app per, per excuse me, purchases, whatever the case may be. I, I like to rip all that stuff out. Um, I tend to do a clean install of my operating system, but not always needed. Just get in there for your family, rip all that bloatware out so they're not clicking on things they shouldn't be and you know paying for apps they don't need. Give them as clean of a, a Windows base install as you can and then download this Ninite for them and you can drop it in a link or do a remote session or bring it over to them depending on your situation. And this can be their, their baseline, right? So, hey, you know, mom, these are the apps I'd recommend for you. Boom. Just run that, you know, give them that night night, let them run it, and then go night night. <laughs> so as you see, guys, it's running through. It's installing GreenShot now. It's going to go ahead and download each app one at a time, and then it'll run through the install. And then once all that's done, uh, we'll come back and we'll check out the log. I'll go ahead and pause the video while this is uh, completing. Okay, guys, let's take another peek at it here. If you hit uh, more details, by default, it hides these details. It'll actually show you what it's done so far. Uh, thus far, we've got 100% success. Even though we're running this on Windows 11, it wasn't listed on their site. Looks like it is uh, supporting it. Most of the apps that are compatible with 10 are going to work on 11. So as you see, Chrome, Winterstat, 7-Zip, GreenShot, Everything, Putty, WinSCP, Audacity, VLC, these have all installed, guys, and you'll see most of them have populated a public desktop shortcut. So we've got Chrome, Winterstat, GreenShot, Everything, Putty, WinSCP, Audacity, VLC, looks like Zoom just completed. There's a wrapping up there anyway. All right, we'll pause it and come back when it's complete. All right, guys, that didn't take long. Everything is installed here. You'll see everything was successful. And we have all of our desktop shortcuts here for all the newly installed applications. I normally have people reboot for good measure after you installed all these applications. Not going to hurt. A lot of times not necessary depending on the apps, but I would definitely recommend a quick reboot of the OS. And that's it, guys. So, yeah, you could take that uh, Ninite file that you downloaded. It'll be in your downloads directory, directory by default. And you could share that out with someone. You put it on your... You know, maybe your Google Drive and send mom a link or whatever the case may be and basically tell them, hey, put this on your desktop, double click it and all your applications will install. You don't need to do anything. Have them reboot and then enjoy uh, mom calling you to ask how to use all these new applications. All right, guys, so I just wanted to share this quick pro tip here. Very useful application, Ninite. Um, hope this has been helpful and Please share the video. Maybe it'll help your friends out, your family. Until the next one, take care, guys. Oh, don't forget to hit that sub button. Take care.